Hello, I'm Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is my walkthrough for the Sisters of EVE Level 1 Epic Arc, The Bloodstained Stars. Chapter 6, A Breach of Trust. I am docked in Tanu 5, Moon 1, Amatar Consulate Bureau, having already accepted the mission from Keda Iceland to come here to Tanu. I'm going to right-click Dovirch Anselm, Security Division, Epic Arc Agent, and start conversation. A matter of decorum, bring Mazara's doll to the colony where her family lives. No combat here, this should be straightforward. Just load the doll on your ship, undock. Warp to the mission. It is here in Tanu. Alright, the Mazara Family Havel is a mission container on your overview. You will need to move, maneuver around an obstacle, namely this gigantic asteroid mining post. I'm turning on my afterburner just to make the traveling go a little bit faster. Open your cargo hold. Double left click to change my direction a bit. Turn off the afterburner and full stop. Left click the hovel. You can show info if you want. Uh, open the cargo and drag in the doll, and your mission is complete. Uh, double left click away from the mining post, turn on your afterburner or micro warp drive, and get some clearance before you go back to the station. I should divert a little to the left. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to click dock. Warp drive. Yep, the mission is complete. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, right click the agent, start conversation, complete mission and request mission. And report to Dr. Canius in Lisa Day 4, Moon 4, Theology Council Tribunal. I'm going to accept the mission, close, and I will skip ahead to that part of the video. I have skipped ahead to where I am about to dock up in Lisa Day 4, 4, Theology.
Right click, start conversation. Uh, sorry. My mistake. Dr. Canius. Right click, Dr. Canius, distribution division, Epic Arc Agent, start conversation. Alright. He wants us to find a mysterious statuette. We do need an analyzer module, or at least a civilian analyzer. He will give us a civilian analyzer. If you have a real analyzer and you have the skills for it, uh, you can use a real analyzer instead. I'm not sure if I do. No, I do not. I did not train up archaeology. I did not even buy the skill book. Right, civilian analyzer it is then. Let's click accept. Uh, let me open my cargo hold. I don't need my salvagers with me right now. I am going to need a mid slot. Alright, there we go. And let's close and undock. The mission here is in Lisude. We do not need to set another destination. Ancient missions, recovery, encounter, dead space, warped location. Warp drive active. If you find yourself bumping on the station structure while trying to warp to the mission, control spacebar, get clear of the station first. You should see an ancient tomb dig site. It's a spawn container. It's in the spawn container category on your overview settings. There are two frigates and two cruisers. Now I do want to spiral in a bit so I'm not coming at them dead on. Let me see about orbiting a closer cruiser. is about to take me bumping into something that's not good. Right. Here's where my armor repair comes in. given all the obstacles around. And you know, I really should have brought a Hobgoblin rather than Warrior with me. Uh, these are Amarian-themed NPCs, so they're normally susceptible to uh, EM Thermal. An explosive damage drone is probably the worst choice I could have brought. But my situation is what it is, and I don't want to go looking for a new drone on the market.
There's a lot of obstacles around me. Things that will interfere with my movement if I bump into them. And if they interfere with my movement, I might suddenly slow down enough for their weapons to start doing very large amounts of damage. Alright, I think I can safely order this guy at one kilometer. My tracking speed is about 0.1 something radians per second, but this is a cruiser and I'm using frigate-sized weapons. So my effective tracking speed against a cruiser is actually three times that. Alright, that's done. Run one pulse of the armor repair, because I've got a tiny bit of armor damage. Alright. Uh, so yeah, signature resolution 40 meters, that's about frigate size. And against frigate size targets, I've got a tracking speed of 0.117. But against a cruiser, which is usually three times the size of a frigate... Uh... 0.117 times 3, and that should be 0.351. So I just need to keep a f cruiser under 0.351 radians per second. Alright, close enough. I can start using Civilian Analyzer. Ah, uh, good. I successfully accessed the Ancient Tomb Dig site. I thought this was going to take me 30 cycles or something. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get clear of obstacles. Abandon all nearby wrecks. Save a location of one of them, so I will come back after I'm done recording. Uh, right, If you forget which station, right-click. Recovery. Ancient Home Base Stock. I think the very first time I did this epic arc as an actual newbie myself two years ago, I didn't quite understand manual flying yet. So I didn't really know how to keep up my angular velocity. So I was taking a lot more damage and I had to switch up to a Vexor class, a Vexor typed Galente cruiser. Let's talk to the agent. Everything's green check marks. Complete the mission. Request the next mission. Uh, we need to find the monastery, clear the area of any pirates, retrieve any documents you find. Accept. Close. We do not need the civilian analyzer anymore. I'm going to put it back on my cap recharger. And we will undock. turns out to be. That's pretty far out. 
Let me go to lead. And I will close the distance a bit. Six kilometer fall off, about 15 kilometer optimal, which means 21. There we go. Oh, you can double left click a hostile on your overview to directly approach it head on. I'm not worried about keeping my angular velocity up in this case, since these are frigates. I'm not too worried about the damage frigates are going to do against me, unless there's a lot of frigates. There's only three of them left now. Switch to my short range. Double left click the cargo container, turn on your afterburner to close the last of the distance. I can abandon the Rex. By the way, abandoning Rex does not also abandon cargo containers. I'm bumping into things. Wonderful. I'm going to have to double left click away from this structure. Alright. Let's try opening the cargo container. all. There we go. Alright, I will save one of these locations. And I believe it's Lisa Day 44 Theology Council. Warp drive active. Which, of course, is on the other side of the obstacle. Of course, I might have just cancelled the warp right before bumping into anything. I don't know. Let me just get around this thing. Alright, should be good enough. Warp drive active. will reload my weapons. Skill training completed. Docking permission requested. 
docking request accepted. All right, finally docked up. All right, let's start conversation with the agent. Complete the mission. Request the next mission. And we are to report back to Tanu. So right click, set destination, click accept. And we will close. I'll pack everything on board and I will skip ahead. All right, I've skipped ahead to where I've made the three Stargate jumps back to Tanu. I'm about to dock up in Tanu 5 Moon 1, Amatar Consulate Bureau. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Let's dump off all the extra gear. Right click. Dovirch Anselm, Security Division, Epic Arc Agent. All right. <clears throat> Defeat Tafos in trial by combat. All right, let's click accept. This is a straight one-on-one -on -one fight. As long as you uh, keep your angular velocity up, you should be fine. Let's undock. And let's work to the mission. There's Tafos. Oh yes, he's flying a frigate. This should be easy. I'm gonna approach him dead on. I've still got antimatter loaded, so my effective range is about 13 kilometers. I can open fire sooner. They're just likely to miss or do only a little bit of damage. Right, we're done with that. Right click. Uh, abandon wreck. I will salvage this later. And we can complete the mission remotely. Alright, request the next mission. And this is to return to Sister Alatura at Arnon 9 Moon 3, Sisters of Eve Bureau. Right click and set destination. Uh, this concludes, that concludes this episode. In the next episode, I will again start it already docked in Arnon, ready to talk to Sister Alatura. Uh, oh, a word of warning. Uh, do double check your map settings. So, uh, I'm pulling up the map now, but you can go to Neocom Map or Neocom Eve Menu Map. The World Map Control Panel, Autopilot Tab. And let me minimize this for a moment. And this is very important. Go to the Settings Sub Tab and make sure you are on Prefer Safer. Very important for this leg of your journey. 
If you accidentally selected prefer shorter, that is going to take you through Amamake. Any low security shortcut is dangerous because other players can shoot at you unprovoked. You're a new player, you're not likely to survive such an encounter. You're not familiar with player versus player combat as yet. Uh, but most especially, Amamake and Rancer are very dangerous. Rancer is the low security shortcut between Jita and Heck. Amamake is a low security shortcut between a bunch of different places, but primarily between the Amara Solar System and Midmatar Space. So make sure you are set to prefer safer. Trust me, the extra six jumps is worth it. Alright. So in, and just to double check, all of these icons should be yellow, green, or blue. No orange, no red. Alright. In the next episode, we will get started on the seventh and final chapter. In the meantime, thank you for watching.